clown. Oh, well, I guess what's the big deal, huh? It's just one. Oh, I was quite sure it was just one from the size of the car. And I'm sorry to say, but if it's Bozo the Clown, and he's a Democrat, I'll take him over Trump. It's not that they don't want to help. They don't want, they don't know quite what to do. Play the radio. Make sure the television, the, excuse me, make sure you have the record player on it. Some Twitter users threw out some other technology in their responses about transistor radios or how their family has a gramophone. Biden's campaign manager, Greg Schultz, was quick to tweet a link to an article on the popularity of record players, adding that he has one in his household. Play the radio. Make sure the television, the, excuse me, make sure you have the record player on at night. The, the, the phone... If you couldn't get it done after Sandy Hook, why should voters give you another chance? Because I got it done before. I'm the only one up here that's ever beat the NRA. Because I got it done before. I'm the only one up here that's ever... Because I got it done before. Throw it out. <laughs> I'm the only one up here that's ever... Throw it out. I'm the only one up here that's ever... And if you notice, nobody's yet said how much it's going to cost the taxpayer. I hear this large savings. The president thinks, the, uh, my friend from Vermont thinks. That I think the vice president very well knows that sometimes the words don't come out of your mouth the right way. <laughs> <laughs> but I always say what I mean. Yeah, yeah. The president thinks, the, uh, my friend from Vermont thinks. Rian, I actually don't. I think Biden looked unsteady at many points. I think he had good moments. And then I think at other points he looked kind of unsteady and almost deer in the headlights um, when things were going on. And, you know, he gave some answers, like when he was talking about Afghanistan, that it sounded like he was talking about his Iraq plan. So there's things that I think when we had the fact checkers come back of, of, of the things that he was saying, I just, I didn't feel like he was that strong. And I feel like he's still running on the fact that he is, he was Barack Obama's vice president. <laughs> My plan would do that. Your plan would they not. They do not have to buy in. They do not have to buy in. You just said that. You just said that two minutes ago. You just said two minutes ago that they would have to buy in. You said they would have to buy in. Have to buy in. If she qualifies, are, are you forgetting what you said two minutes ago? Be in for it. Are you forgetting already what you said just two minutes ago? I mean, I can't believe that you said two minutes ago that they had to buy in, and now you're saying they don't have to buy You're forgetting that. So, Linda, let me ask you a question about uh, something that a lot of people are talking about now. It has to do with uh, health care, but it was when Julian Castro sort of took aim at uh, the former Vice President Joe Biden, asking him about his uh, health care plan, and then basically suggesting that he was losing his memory. In other words, that maybe he's too old for this. He didn't actually say that, but he sort of suggested it. Um, so now, in the light of day, what's your take on his attack there? You know, I think Julian Castro was taking a page from the playbook that worked so well for him in the very first debate, where he went directly against somebody else on the stage and was somewhat sharp in the delivery and the attack, just so he could make some headlines and elevate himself. He understands where he is in the polls, and he was on home turf. That said, you know, there's a difference between taking somebody on when it comes to policy and substance, the way that he did Beto O'Rourke in the first debate, and the way that he uh, spoke to the former vice president last night which frankly bordered on mockery and uh, you know when he delivered a couple of those lines in the room at the debate hall you could hear almost an audible ugh you know people cringed a little bit and didn't feel so good about it this is why come presidential on, guys, debates on. are becoming unwatchable yeah. Yeah, where, this where reminds they everybody of what they cannot I, stand about washington scoring I, points against each other poking I, at each other and telling each other that that you're my plan your plan look we all yeah, that's have called a democratic primary election <laughs> that's called an election that's an election you know this is what we're here for it's an election is criminal justice reform. Senator Harris, you released your plan for that just this week, and it does contradict some of your prior positions. Among them, you used to oppose the legalization of marijuana, now you don't. You used to oppose outside investigations of police shootings, now you don't. You've said that you changed on these and other things because you were, quote, swimming against the current, and thankfully the currents have changed. But when you had the power, why didn't you try to affect change then? 
that exchange, I think, points to, in part, what her problem is with many black voters and millennials in particular, her record as a prosecutor. We also saw, for all of her success when she went after Biden at the, at the first debate, that she seems she's strong at asking questions. But answering questions we saw tonight was a challenge for her. First, I have a few words for Donald Trump, who we all know is watching. Uh, we're working on a tax cut for the middle income people. And now, President Trump, you can go back to watching Fox News. Uh, but she hasn't had a consistent message. Mm -hmm. And I'm not sure that she solved that problem tonight. She had great, she had some good moments in this debate. She had one really bad moment, which was this yes, we can yeah, line to, really uh, right. to Joe Biden <laughs> yeah. about guns. It was just an inappropriate time, and the laugh was inappropriate. Vamos a hablar de América Latina. Uh, you haven't been asked about Latin America in the previous debate. So uh, let's begin. Uh, Senator Sanders, one country where many immigrants are arriving from is Venezuela. A recent UN fact-finding mission found that thousands have been disappeared, tortured, and killed by government forces in Venezuela. You admit that Venezuela does not have free elections, but still you refuse to call Nicolás Maduro un dictador, a dictator. Can you explain why, and what are the main differences between your kind of socialism and the one being imposed in Venezuela, Cuba, and Nicaragua? Vice President Biden pressed you and Senator Warren on how you would pay for Medicare for all. Right. And the answer, would the taxes go up on the middle class? What's the answer, yes or no? The answer is that the average American will be paying substantially less for health care than he or she is. See, that's like a Republican talking about, are you going to raise taxes? It's, but it's not a Republican talking about, it's no, a fair question, because the yeah, middle class would like question. to know. Donald Trump's a racist. White supremacy. Systemic racism. Racially biased. Systemic racism. White supremacy. Racism, which is the racism that we see. We've got one shot to make Donald Trump a one-term president, and we cannot lose it because of Trump's policy. President Trump. Donald Trump. Donald Trump. Donald Trump. Donald Trump. Donald Trump. Donald Trump. President Trump. Trump. Donald Trump. Donald Trump. Donald Trump's. Donald Trump's. Donald Trump. Donald Trump. Donald Trump. President Trump. President Trump. Donald Trump. President Trump. 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 From Donald Trump. Donald Trump. Donald Trump. Donald Trump. President Trump. Trump's. President Trump. President Trump's. President Trump. President Trump. Donald Trump. 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 Hello. Peter, where the hell are you? You gotta get down to the clam, man. There's like 60 clowns in here. Ah, I can't. I gotta watch Stewie. Peter, they threw what I thought was a bucket of water on me, but it turns out it was just a bunch of confetti. Oh, man, I gotta get over there.